Hi everyone, Dr. Joe Ferrantelli, and I wanted to give you just a glimpse of some of the things that we have coming for the new Lean Screen module within Posture Screen. One of the things that I'm excited about, first and foremost, is how accurate Lean Screen is. Basically, it's an anthropometric measuring system from photographs that we uh, have a patent pending on. And what is really awesome about this is let me show you a couple things. So I just had hydrostatic water displacement, and basically the gold standard of body composition analysis done um, just last week. And that's where they submerge you underneath water and it's a little time consuming to do, but I got my results. So let me show you my results. Come on over here. So my results are 13%. Now, the cool thing is that same day, of course, I did a lean screen. I had somebody take the photographs on me and let me just show you what we have here. So for lean screen, I have 13% as well too. Now, how awesome is that? So we are very accurate with lean screen, but we had requests and I had an idea. Imagine if you had another system that you really like to use, like a high-end bioelectroimpedance method, um, or you have a, a personal trainer um, that's really, really gifted with using calipers. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people are not so gifted with using calipers, but imagine if you have a, a trainer that's really gifted with using calipers, or if you're a healthcare practitioner and you use calipers as well, too, within your facility for, say, your bariatric center. So what we did was, we now have the ability in this next version is to be able to put in the name of whatever method that you use, and when, now when you put in that information, it's going to average the results. So you're gonna have the best of both worlds. And the best part is that you'll have the, the nice report to go to the clients as well with the average results. So you just saw that was 13. Let's just say hypothetically that my, uh, the hydrostatic method put me at say 11, okay? So what we're gonna do differently is I'm gonna go back into that exam. Now obviously you would do this from right from the, the start, but since I already have this analysis done, well, let me show you where it's at first. In the settings, there'll be an area down here where it says to type in whatever lean screen analysis, whatever. So if it was calipers that you wanted, you could put that in there. Or if it's a named um, device that you want to do, you'd put that in there. I just put, kept it generic with hydrostatic body fat uh, analysis. So now I'm going to go back into the client list, go back into my case. I'm going to go into the edit. And on that first screen, when you go to take the photographs, down in the bottom right-hand side, can you see that there's a spot? It says what we have here. It says what did we have for the percentage. So let's go ahead and say hypothetically that it had me at 11. Okay, so now I have 11% body fat on that method. We had the 13 with the current method. So now if I go through, it's going to average the results and it puts me at 12. And now the way this is gonna show up on the report that you're gonna to send to the client is, we bring this up and notice that it's gonna say 12% up here and it says the body fat percentage has been averaged with the hydrostatic body fat analysis. So now you have the ultimate method of body composition analysis. We've served uh, the purpose of taking the photographs and if you have another uh, method of body composition analysis, you can go ahead and use that too to augment and in reality, if you did two different, completely different types of assessments, I bet you that it's gonna be very, very accurate and more times than not, pretty darn close to what hydrostatic method um, would be. 